Entry number 791, Swift High Memoir. 791. reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe that and tremble. Do you want proof, you ignoramus, that faith without works is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar? You see that faith was active along with works, and faith was completed by the works. 
Thus the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. See how a person is justified by works and not by faith alone? For just as a body without a spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. The word of the Lord. A responsorial song. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Blessed the Lord, the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth, and upon genera- and up the upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Senior uh, Ronald Knox, who was known for his uh, translation of the Bible, uh, described the cross as a combination of, of two gestures. The first is the gesture of the eye, and then the second gesture crosses it out. In a way, that's, of course, what Jesus is asking, that uh, we not just stay with ourselves, but that we enter into the the mystery, the frightening mystery, I think, uh, uh, of the cross, that, in effect, we give Jesus a a blank check and say, well, uh, 
that cross for each of us has a different imprint. You know, what is it that puts the struggle that helps bring out the kingdom? Well, where do you stand for the gospel even though it costs you something? Uh, where do you speak up for what uh, is right and speak against hatred? Uh, all those have their particular crosses and consequences. And so we come here to again be reassured that when we make those steps of uh, crossing ourselves out, but inviting the Lord's life in, that we follow Him not just through the struggles as we know, but also we follow Him all the way to the resurrection. Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. 
since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choir of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon us like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and freely entered his passion, Jesus took bread, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. I give you, my peace is with you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. We again encourage each other as we share that sign of Christ. Christ who leads us to the cross to salvation and new life. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh, Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Will Lord be with you? Amen. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We've gathered in the precious presence of Christ and go forth guided by his peace and love. Thanks be to God. Lord, whose love and humble service for the weight 